Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 3 The Tormented. So in the last episode, it landed on a big WTF cliffhanger with Kay. He was uh, in the abyss, and Reka touched him very sensually, and something horrible happened. So we're going to go check. Oh my god! <gasps> There's a black marking there. Oh my god, he's gone! Holy shit. Holy shit. That is insane! The bag has been left open. Maybe he was looking into something. Inside the bag is a tattered and well-thumbed notebook that I guess must belong to Kay. There is a seal stamped on one of the last pages. Oh my god! Kay's he's gone! He's gone! Holy shit! The tattoo markings are there! <gasps> That's so crazy. Anyways, let's read this. I examined the lyrics of the third verse of The Sleeping Priestess. It may be some kind of clue. Below are possible meanings besides impaling the tattoo stake. Maybe the lyrics in the third verse don't mean to make sleep, but rather to send off the priestess. These lyrics certainly fit with the funeral song you was talking about. They practice an ancient spirit world religion over there. At the Kuze family mountain, it's said that there is a sacred area called the Sea of Endless Night. On a certain map is drawn a huge sea-like area behind the manor, and maybe it represents the other world. Could that be where the priestess is relinquished? Send off the priestess. But how? How do we send off the priestess? There's an old cassette. Yay! Let's listen to Ototsuki. Okay, let's listen to the Ototsuki. Oh, what? 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 Oh, it's nighttime already. Wow, that took us a long time. Maybe we did all of that in slow motion. We're like, nah, like that. And it really took us a really long time. Maybe Ray's sense of time is different than our sense of time. Could be. Anyways, let's listen to this. Ototsuki. Yes, I'm Konami. Oh, it's Konami. Oh, my God. Konami Ototsuki. Oh, hello. Oh, that's his... I forgot that's his name. Okay. The snow was falling. The snow was falling, yeah. There was a big manor. Yeah. And inside it, there was an old shrine. So he's talking about his dream yet? I could hear singing. She's in there. Okay. Reka is in there. Okay. No, further in. It was much deeper, darker. So did he follow in and get like touched by... Water. Did he get touched by no, Reka then? I'm, I'm talking about my dream. But it was a very vivid dream. I thought this it all happened to him not in the dream, I heard that but... there was a place like this in the village where I was found. A place where you can meet the dead. Okay. Like a rift to the other side. So There's he, a shrine there. So he died later then. I thought he died, like, pain. when they were... I thought he actually went after Reika not in the yeah, dream, but in real life. Right. Kuze, the, the Kuze shrine. There, Reika accepted the tattoos. Yeah. Wasn't it there and that you died? And in the end... Because I thought he got killed. I, must go back I thought he went... Oh, to the man I see. see so he had the dream because he was regretting. Know. He had some regret. If I don't go, she'll... And then he went back there and that's when he got killed. Because he got killed. Okay, so he did go back, really, and that's when he got killed. Okay, it makes all sense. I know I can't see you again, but... What? Is that Miku's... If I could just see you once more... I can hear a woman's voice coming through. Must be receiving something from this house. The... Oh, hey, we have a spirit stone radio. Wow, that's interesting. That's the one we got in Fatal Frame 2. Yay! If I could just see you once more... Okay, yeah, don't worry, I'm coming, Miku! Hold your panties! Okay. I'm here! Can I touch your forehead sensually? Come on, let me touch your forehead. Fine. Be that way. What about your stuff? Japanese knickknacks. They're what? The sound seems to be coming from the attic. The attic room hasn't been open since you put his things here when he moved to his, his pants house. <gasps> Not the attic again! No! I don't want to go back in there! No! Okay, let's go back in there. For Miku's sake, we're gonna do it. We're gonna... We're gonna face our fears. Holy shit, this is a big attic. God... Oh, what? Oh my... The sound seems to come from the shelf. Inside a drawer in his old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks like a small stone of some kind. The Echo Stone Earring. Could this be the earring of the person mentioned on the cassette Konami? 
It's Konami's earring. Oh my god. How did... How did that get here? Reika, who heard the longing of the priestess. Maybe you got it. The other world. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for seven months in a row. The dream is as I described below. He first notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. He has seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. From deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of the girl he left behind. Beckoned by the tattoo... Oh, sorry, by the tattoo. I'm seeing things. Holy crap. Beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into his dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statement becomes interesting. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. Oh no! I, I hate it how you can't go back. I accidentally pressed X. I'm sorry. The statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld, according to this story. This is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dream... Otherworld and Dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded this talk on his dream four days ago, compiled below. He is from the Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and Traverse, the border between the Otherworld and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the Underworld. So our nightmare world, I wonder if it's like actually in the real world, like we kind of have a physical form there. I don't know. Shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after the day, recorded his testimony at the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see his woman's hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times has been said to communicate thought, perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. So we can use this earring to use our thoughts makes sense. It's like the same material as the Echo Radio or whatever, that radio. There is a film reel, film reel of Totsuki. If this earring is Reika's, the tattoo priestess, then it might convey her voice and emotions. Okay. What? That voice on the set was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Reika's voice said on the radio. Oh, that was Reika's voice. Uh, I don't know why it sounded like Miku's voice. I'm on drugs, man. Oh no, another scene in the shower. Okay, guys. Hands up. No touching yourself. That'd be kind of weird, too, especially because we see Yu's dead body, and touching ourselves now would be pretty awful. And girls crying is not masturbation material, okay? Oh shit, how far is the tattoo? She's crying and the tattoo is spreading. That's horrible. It's so pitiful, you know? She's crying, the tattoo's spreading, and it's just, oh my god, everything about it. Are you Are you talking to me? Haha, <laughs> it never gets old! E, I did it all the way until the last episode. Okay, whatever. Let's go back upstairs. I don't think there's anything left for us here. Nothing left but groveling. We may as well just go back to sleep and go back to the dream world. Although, wouldn't it be cool if we actually went to the shrine, like, in real life? You know, like, we decided, like, let's just drive there right now. Let's go there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's go to that area in the mountains. I think that'd be cool. The Endless Sea. What the fuck? Holy sh... Oh, go away. No, go away! Are you gone yet? Oh, fuck it, man. How are we going to be able to sleep with that thing there? Ah, oh, it's looking at us! It follows us! Oh my god! Do you want to sleep? How? What? You can sleep in that? You're fucked. Ray, you're fucked. If I see you, I, I don't know. Am, Me? am I supposed to be alive? God. You're all the same, all you people with your regrets and the guilt. <laughs> Stop feeling the guilt. Yeah, our destination's there. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's snowing again. What's new? It's black and white again. I better not start like that. I better start with a candle. If you start me like this game... Oh, it is you! We haven't seen him in a while. Wow. 
Yeah, you. I know. We got it. Oh, no. Uh, hey, you know what, guys? This is it. We don't play as any other characters. So it's time to upgrade the shit out of this camera. I have 104,000 points. So we are going to upgrade the maximum value because it's damaged. It's very important. Range. Displays the range in which you can catch ghosts. Nah, there's no point in that. Sensitivity. Displays spirit power recharge rate and camera rage. Uh, no. Increase maximum power charge. Flash causes ghosts to withdraw if you power up number of views. No, we don't need that. Whatever, because I have a feeling that's not going to work on the last boss. But let's get some more spirit points in this shizzle for jizzle because that means that we can use our lenses more. I really didn't find many lenses with Ray. Oh my god. That's slow, right? I want it increases the f force of your shot. Um, blast, gas, boo. Some okay, whatever. Sensitivity, baby. That's right. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to upgrade that one. And I'm just going to equip it right now, the blast. Do I have it equipped? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, and we got... Yeah, I haven't found any Type 00, Zero film in this whole entire game. That's kind of sad. But whatever, I am ready. I am ready for this. How many spirit points we got now? We got three? Okay, cool. We are ready. I'm ready to take on anything. Come on, what could possibly go wrong? I have to see him. I have to find him and be sure. Oh. Uh, I... Didn't... You just saw what happened to Miku, like, a night ago, really? Calling of the Tattoo. My dreams were so long over and over, but I don't want this dream anymore. Okay, that's Reika. I won't mistake the voice anymore. It's whoa, whoa! It's just my shadow. Calm down, Eric. I'm calm. Don't worry, Eric. I'm calm. I'm calm. Let's just go to the projector room and use this film reel. I wonder if we can use it. The Ototsuki film reel. I haven't really used many film reels because I why? Hey, get out! <laughs> I can feel the thoughts of so many people being etched into me. That sucks. So many voices. What a terrible feeling so on the street. Much pain. No escape. Please don't forget me. This is my voice. Okay. My memory. I can never forget you. My pain. Nope, I won't forget you. So stop haunting me. I got the horizon. I want to. Oh, Totsuki! Oh, that one's already in there. Okay. What's this? Mirror Fragment 5. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Is there anything? No, nothing. Okay. What? So, apparently, we gotta get all these mirror fragments. And they're just scattered about everywhere in all kinds of different places. Ooh, shiny object! Type 14 film, yay. <laughs> yay, only Type 14 film. Hoorah. Okay, what the hell? Oh, what? What's here? Come out, give me points. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, let's go get some more mirror fragments. These snatches my natches. So, I'm pretty sure there's one in the garden corridor. Let's just go get that, shall we? Okay, something, don't pop out at me. If you do, I'll be angry. I would never forgive you. Never, ever, 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 ever! Here. You're here? Oh! Oh, so Reika- I never I wanted to leave you. I wanted to be with you. Yeah. I'm here. I'll always be here. Okay, well don't worry. As in every Fatal Frame game, we always send people to the other side, these tortured souls. So Konami is dead, we'll, we'll send you guys together, okay? Does that sound nice? So until then, just stop attacking me, and let's be at peace. Mirror Fragment 1. Ooh, number 1. I wonder if when Rey picks these up, she actually says the number. She's like, this is number 1. I got the first. Okay, anyways, I think one of them's in the wooden figure room. Which is way off past the kimono room, so let's go do it. Ah, oh, fuck you, candle. Screw you. 
Okay, off we go to the wooden figure room. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there actually something here? Is she- is there something in here? Oh no, it's over this way. Where are these words leading me? Okay, let's go up here, fine. I forget, where does this go to? How soon I forget things, huh? Oh, this is the cage room! I yeah, again. I remember, okay. I know I can't see you again, but still, if I could just see you once more. Okay. Once more. Reiki, just you're, one more time. you're kind of like a broken record. We get it. You really want to see Kaname, and you're doing all these horrible things. Because you're a vengeful, spiteful thing. Just give me my mirror fragment too this time. Ooh. Oh, uh, well, we got. Oh, I shouldn't have upgraded my other one. Let's see if this one's good. Increases damage. Length of effect increase. Temporarily increase. Oh, that's awesome! Because it temporarily increases. It doesn't just, like, do it one time. As it temporarily increases the amount of damage, it is useful for ghosts with high HP. The higher your level, the longer the effect. Oh, that's awesome! I'm gonna equip it right now. Hell yeah. Hells to the yeah. Oh, what? What am I doing? Okay, let's just put it right there. Pierce, baby. Pierce, baby. Pierce, baby. I only have 5,000 points. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I only have 5,000 points. I did waste a lot of points, didn't I? Well, whatever. I should be getting some more before the final boss anyways, and then I'll upgrade that lens one time, and then I'll be good. I'll have a pretty sweet camera. My camera will be super sweet. Okay, let's go to the wooden figure room, which is this way, I think. Unless I forget. <laughs> I don't think I forget, though. Oh, there's an herbal medicine in here. Even though... Is the herbal medicine even going to be useful? I mean... Uh, there was a ghost here last time! Okay, good. Like, the, the final boss... Usually the final boss is in any Fatal Frame game. It's like, if they touch you, you die in one hit. So really, am I going to need healing items? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, wooden figure room. Where the hell are you? Yeah, you're down here. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, what the, holy shit. Did you hear that? What the? Oh, no, please don't attack me. Just just do your thing. Just show up. I feel like you've been in my dreams for so long. I have been. Over and over. Yep. But I don't want this dream anymore. Okay, well, we'll end it. Don't worry. We're chums, right? Oh, all the wooden figures fell down. That's what Oh, there's a purifying light here. Hell yeah. Well, let's get this first. That's time management, baby. Yeah! Mirror Fragment Force. So we only need one more. Where is the last one? I have no idea where the last one is. God damn it. <gasps> oh, that's just the sound of the candle. <laughs> I'm so jumpy. Okay, let's find out where this last one is. God damn it. Okay, I actually had no idea where it was. I'm still in this hallway. But I found out it's in the blind room. So we're gonna head there, okay? But this creepy noise started, so I don't know what's going on. Like, if there's a ghost here or something. I don't know what's going on. Ghost, if you're gonna pop out, just do it already, okay? Quit playing games with my heart. With my heart. It's so weak. I should have known from the start. My heart. Wow, nothing, huh? Nothing. Oh, what the oh my oh. Oh. I was like, nothing. Oh, nothing. No, it's fucking that noise is nothing. And then it uh, it attacked me. Holy shit! But it didn't hit me. That's fucked up. Okay, anyways, let's go. We gotta go to the blind room. Booyah, baby. Blind room action. That's where they put on blindfolds and have fun with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can hear the noise, right? You can hear Reika talking. So we are really close. So let's go through this door. This is the room where we had that hard-to-get shiny item that we couldn't find in the middle there. There we go, and she's right there, too. shatter my memories. These shards. 
<gasps> these pieces of me. Oh, wow. That makes sense. So we collected all... That's her memories. It's Reika's memories. Okay, well, Reika, we collected them all for you. And now you can remember Kaname properly. We got your memory back. They're all together. I got the Mirror of Loss. You, I'm... A book has been put away with the Mirror Fragment. Oh, wow, really? So a book magically came out from the Mirror Fragment. That's cool. I endure the piercing of the soul so people can wash away their feelings. The feeling. The pain of the holly engraved on me shows me many dreams. Many kinds of pain and love. I take on the pain of being left alone. The pain of living. But these pains, these pains I bear, they do not fade, but are engraved somewhere hidden and remain. Of the various pains, the more vivid ones ache most intensely. Nobody will take my holly. It is mine alone. I engrave my feelings, my holly, in these mirrors and break them here. Because they are my feelings alone. But if it were in my power, I would see him one more time. Whoa, you, what? I want to see you. Yeah, but remember what happened to Miku when she wanted to see Mafu? Oh, wow, we're back here. Instant transmission, baby. She has Goku powers. Anyways, guys. I'm going to save my game here. In the next episode, we're going to go into the abyss. Or into the engraving shrine, I guess. We're going to put the mirror down. And we're going to see what happens then. We are seriously, like, right beside the end of the game. I might finish it in the next episode. There might be two episodes left. I have no idea. It depends on how long it is. But we are so, so super close. I might break it into two episodes. Because I do want to do a recap on the story for everyone that's watching. Just, you know, like maybe five... No, well, it might not even be that long. Just like a three-minute recap of the information we've learned put everything together, explain to some people what's going on, because it is a little bit complicated with all the notes and stuff, and I have done some research into it to kind of piece it together a little bit more, but I want to share that with my viewers, okay? So in the next episode, at the start of the episode, I'll be doing that, and then we will head on to the end. Okay? So I'll see you then. Peace.